to say, except that you totally had my back out there. Like at a fight club or something, I don't know. You know what I think? Ryan, I think that if you were to teach me some moves, I think that we could totally take them next time. That's what I think. A little bit of that, you know what I mean? A little bit of that, that. What do you think about that? Yeah. Oh, also, that wasn't exactly the way that I first planned to talk to Summer, but I am now on her radar. Do you think I should tell her about Tahiti? Do you? Not yet. That's what I thought. Let's see, that's what I was thinking. I wanted to make sure like we were on the same page. Poem? What poem? I wish I was a mermaid. You remember that? That was like sixth grade. I wish I was a mermaid and was friends with all the fish, a shiny tail. Seashells, huh? I wish. Oh, I gotta go. There's that investment banker from Woodward and McDonough. It's okay. I'll introduce myself. How'd it go with the girls? Uh -oh. Seth Gillen starter pack? I think I'm past that now. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Figure to hang it. All right, man, another Christmas convert. Nice. I never doubted it for a second. Check it out. I already put the hook up just in case. Hey. All right, what'll it be? Filler on the roof, it's a wonderful life. For my selection, Sylvester Stallone's over the top. Is <laughs> that the arm wrestling movie? Arm wrestling classic. Oh, hey, uh, Merry Christmas, okay, you guys. Thank you. Listen, you were lucky to be able to hang in there after all that foreplay. For what now? Foreplay. Oh, uh, yeah, y you know, um, Massaging, you know, or, um, you know, nibbling the neck. Look, here's a point. Just because you're ready to go, it doesn't mean she is. I'm always ready to go. Oh, you're my son. We Coens are very sexual beings. Oh, my God. Viral. Get used it's to it. It's disgusting. Foreplay, huh? Oh, I'm telling you, the appetizer is as good as the main course. Yep, just swallowed a little bit, throw up. Well, I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation, but. Thanks, Dad. Acknowledge me now or lose me forever. Wait, you're dating this emo geek? Yes, Brad, she's dating this emo geek. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm a big dork and I listen to emo, and I'm dating her. Why are you doing this? That's so much. I like you this much. And if you don't feel the same way about me, then someone's gonna have to give me a hand down because it's really high up here and I could fall and that would be embarrassing. More embarrassing. Greets me every morning. But the most of the glare of the open sun is hardly there. On the open sun, it's always busted on the bread you need. I can't believe this. It's all over the big public makeup station. Hmm. So we leave for like three months, you tear the whole place apart. You're back? <laughs> there's a uh, two-for-one special on brooding young men. Were you coming back, too? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. It's a long story, but I figure this is where I belong. So. Yeah. Uh, what he said. <laughs> Good, because nobody leaves this family twice. Also, to apologize for whatever happened last night. Uh, you don't have to apologize to me. You talk to Zach? No, why? I kind of destroyed his relationship with Summer. 
Oh, I violated the code of man. Uh, talk to Alex. She won't answer my calls. Mm, might have something to do with all the vomit. All the vomit? How much vomit? Like the little girl in Sixth Sense or the fat guy in Monty Python? Well, you wanted to be a bad boy. You did bad. Yeah, but not in a good way. You gotta talk to Alex. I'm sure I can be a good bad boy, not a bad bad boy. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. Aspirin? Thank you. Hey, can I see these? Yeah, sure. Uh, what are these? Uh, they're just sketches I did in Portland. The summer without summer. Has Zach seen these? No, I was gonna show them tonight. No, no, you are not. You're not gonna show these to Zach. Dude, they're just drawings. Of a girl you were clearly obsessed with. Okay. First of all, obsessed, it's a pretty strong word. Maybe you're right, and therefore I won't show him. They're really good, though. Thanks. Hey, don't let Grandpa scare you, all right? Remember, you're Brian Gatwood, Fist of Fury. What are you doing here? What do you think, Idealistic. You got nothing to worry about. Just remember, this isn't goodbye. You're my destiny, Colin. Go save the world, Summer Roberts. after the New Hampshire primary. Just go. Minds from the chains and shackles that they're in. <laughs> 